to all the people that got tokens. Ooh, Kane's theme from Toho. Uh, house set version. This is some pretty. This is some pretty good music. I always love the Toho project. It looks like we have another normal match under normal rules with switching disabled for this match. On the blue corner, we have Duskull, Ditto, and Sharpedo. And on the red team, we have Taillo, Larvitar, and Lediba. Is this the battle of the small Pokemon? Indeed, but that Sharpedo seems like it's going to come in just like a Torpedo and Aqua Jet, all the enemy Pokemon. You know, I think Sharpedo might eat five Pokemon here. It's got Ditto, Duskull, Taillo, Larvitar, and Ladyba in its way. They're so small! Yes, indeed. And the Ditto can imitate any Pokemon here with its Transform, of course. Mmm, it's got a Quick Powder on it. I wonder how this match will go. Get your bets in right now. Looks like if you're on the blue corner and you win, you'd get a pretty nice payday with an 800% there. Mmm, indeed. 800%. At least currently. <laughs> Looking at both sides, it seems that we do not have a lot of bets at the moment, and this could go anywhere from here. So what are your thoughts on this match? Who, Which team are you leaning more towards? I think I'm going to be leading towards the blue team. Not only can Ditto imitate an enemy Pokemon and possibly have an advantage on them, but that Sharpedo has a pretty high stat. It has high stats, and Aqua Jet come in pretty handy. Yes, indeed. A little over a minute 50 left to get those bets in. Hey, look, the odds have already reversed. 247% payout on the red corner. Should you bet on that? Mmm. I cannot wait for an effect match yet. We haven't had one of those for a while. You know, I put my two bets in today, I won one, I lost one, so I have an even 50% win rate. Mm, hopefully that win rate stays as high as it can, Chef. I hope so too. My last season was about 67%, so definitely don't listen to me. Mm, well, I am a very careful better, so I only bet on things that I know I can win. TPP Simulator saying GG, so GG everyone! Yeah, GG, good game, let's have a good game! GG Easy is the Overwatch thing you do. Oh, yeah. Or GG can stand for Gravidia's Great. Right? Right, guys? Yes. Yes, it can. Thank you to everyone saying Gravidia's Great right now in chat. Yeah, you guys are upping my self-esteem. I'm feeling pretty great now. Always got to get that self-esteem up. Hey, 45 seconds left. Get those last second bets in. I know you. Oh. I want to see your name on here. I want to see you win this match. Aw, the song's gonna end soon. I really like it though. Not to fear, Gravidia, there are more Tohu songs in the repertoire. Mmm, hopefully so. Ooh, password? Godzilla monsters are monsters? What password? I wonder what the password is. Hmm. Mm. Is the password Super Califragilistic XBLadocious? The password might be GG. Oh, and a mail from Sandos. Gravidia is oh, great. Thank you, Sandos. Aww. Send me a little mail thing. That makes me really happy. I am great. You're, you're making you're making me pretty happy, Sandos. You know, you're a great guy. Thanks. And our match now begins. The blue corner will send out their Duskull first. The red corner, their tail low. As we travel now to the Waterfall Coliseum. Yes, and it seems that Blue has the higher advantage in terms of rewards for winning this match. As the match starts out with Taylo and Duskull. That's right, if you bet blue corner and you win, you will get 293% payout here. Let's see what happens. Mmm, seems that red is moving first with that really fast Halo, using a substitute to keep it from taking too much damage. What a generic looking Pokedoll as Duskull tricks the room here! Whoa! Mmm, it seems that Duskull does not choose to move first, and now Taylor has an advantage, at least, I think. Look, it has Flame Orb and Guts! This could go pretty well for the red team. Duskull trying for a pain split here, that's gonna fail. Taylo will use Brave Bird here against the Duskull. Oh, massive damage from Brave Bird. What a brave bird. What? Something <laughs> strange. Distortion! What's this? The Coliseum! Oh. oh, what's happening to the Coliseum? What's happening to the commentator copter? Yo, I don't know about you, but my cup is up in the air right now as Duskull goes for a pain split. That's going to fail once again. Taylo again going for a Brave Bird. Another weird camera angle as Duskull goes down. Oh, indeed. That Duskull took a lot of damage. Hey, wait a second. Where'd my microphone go? 
I think I have your microphone over here. Hmm, I wonder how that happened. That room is pretty tricky. Very tricky room. The blue corner will have to send out their ditto next as switching is disabled in this match. Ooh, so it'll be straight up ditto. And now ditto's gonna copy that tailo, not for its items, but for its moves and its ability. This could go pretty well or pretty bad for the blue team. Taylor actually going for a facade here. Ditto goes down turn one. Oh, it seems that my, that my anticipation was incorrect as <laughs> Ditto gets completely obliterated by that facade. Taylor barely holding on. Facade's gonna be at max strength here as the blue corner Sharpedo comes in. Their last hope. Ooh, Sharpedo su survives his next sort of facade. It could be a clean sweep against Lar Larvitar and Ladybod, depending on how things go, as it goes through an Aqua Jet critical hit. And that will likely fade the substitute here for Taylor. It does, but it does no effect here. Taylor is still at four health. It goes for facade here. Oh, 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 oh Sharpedo. Sharpedo holds on. Just barely holding on. But the rough skin of Sharpedo takes down that Taylor, and Sharpedo restores health using Citrus Berry. That was an insane turn. Yes, that was. As my microphone returns to my desk, my cup starts stops floating in the air, I should say. Hey, wait a second. What's my microphone doing back? Is there some paranormal activity going on? No more tricks in this room as Sharpedo will move first using its Aqua Jet against Larvitar. It seems I've made a correct assumption in saying that Blue Team might have a, que a queen, queen, a clean sweep with that Aqua Jet. This might be pretty powerful. We shall see here, it's one-on-one -on -one now at the Waterfall Coliseum. Anything still possible, the red corner sends out their Ladybug. Ooh, anything could go this way, as Ladybot has Bug Buzz, which will do some massive damage to Sharpedo. Sharpedo does not take out that Ladybot on the first turn. Ladybot does <laughs> hold on with just over one one half health, as Ladybot goes for a Bug Buzz here against the Dark type, which is super effective, and down goes Sharpedo. Oh, it seems that Blue had a running chance to keep alive and can get that 293% payout, but it seems it all went downhill as Red wins with Bloody Bar. The dream is over for the blue corner, the red corner. 34% payout. <laughs> hey guys, you, you like my queen sweep? <laughs> you like that you like that queen sweep? Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> oh man, rubbing it in. Yeah, that's great. Cool. All right, Red wins, and we got some pretty uplifting music with Vice's theme from Shies of Arcadia, a game that I've never gotten to play, unfortunately. I miss my dream. I used to have a Dreamcast when I was a kid, but I had to sell it, unfortunately. I have no, I had no money when I was younger, so I used to go over to a friend's house and basically mooch off their Dreamcaster. And get your inputs in once again for Pokemon Dark Greystone. One token on the line as we continue to now fight this Rattata here that we find it. Ooh. There's some risk in her reward with fighting this Rattata. What if it uses a, a Super Fang? What if it takes down our, our, our Kingler by half health? That could be insane. I think it'll use Judgment. Oh, Judgment has been dealt. Two tokens now on the line. Thank you to an anonymous donor for that token. As we select Ooh, the two indeed. people that will get their tokens. Cookie will use Crab Hammer here again.